Hi everybody. Um, I thought I should show at least once on my face, but unfortunately the way things will go, I will never get to see you and this is probably the one time that you will see me. And uh, okay, so at least you have a face that you can put behind this weird sounding voice. You can tell I have a bit of an accent um, because I'm actually uh, born not in the US. I was born in Belgium in, and I'm Flemish. So, well, let me tell me you what my name is, because, okay, you can see my name probably, but do you know how to pronounce it? Okay, that's going to be the first quiz. No, that's not going to be the case. Okay, I'm going to show you. So, this is how you write my name, right? So, how to pronounce this? Okay, now, okay, you can try, but I'm going to give you a hint. Uh, as I said, my native language is Flemish Dutch, which is in fact very close to English, at least at even to older English. So you should really read this as an English word. Yeah. Now, you're still going to read it wrong because you, you, you forget the English words. Let's hear some English words that you should think about. The school is out, right? School is out. So, scoutens. Okay, the ENS. It just means some of, it's that's the way that they build names, scoutants, okay? So it actually is very much related to the English word scout because it means the same thing. And uh, so please call me, if you ever have to say my name, call me this way. Uh, I hear people sometimes call me shootems, but that sounds very, very ominous, okay? Don't do that. If you really, really want to know how to pronounce my name, it's uh, in Dutch, you pronounce it as schoutens. But that's the sh is a sound that is not very easy for non-trained uh, larynxes. Okay, let's go to our actual course. So this is a course on um, on discrete math. Okay, and it's what we call an asynchronous course. Let me, before I say anything else, explain very quickly what this means. It means that we won't have any real time real-time meetings. Of course, we have no real in-class meetings anyway, but not even real-time. You might have taken courses before, online courses. Uh, well, I'm sure everybody was all of a sudden found themselves all of a sudden in lockdown and having to do this, uh, where people, where some faculty would just make a Zoom session or all collaborate a session with you and you would, they would lecture to you over the video. But that's not what I'm going to do. Instead, I'm going to I made a um, lot of lecture videos that you're going to watch and therefore the big advantage is you can do this at your own leisure, meaning you can stop the video, you can watch one video and then watch the next video, um, you can watch a video over again or you can scroll back, which is a major advantage over sitting in class because in sitting class I know some of you get tired and fall asleep or were not paying attention or playing with their phone, whatever reason. No, none of these excuses are any more valid because you can now manage your own time. Okay, however, we still have uh, quizzes that have due dates and the, the dates of these quizzes and therefore the lecture plan that I will present is going to still follow the uh, days that you are officially registered for this course, right? So that's the Mondays and Wednesdays. So uh, typically, now be careful, This what I'm showing you here is a beta site, and that's not necessarily the site that you will get to see for your class, but I just it's just an example of what we're going to look at. So for instance, here you see session 1, Wednesday, that's our first session, session 2, Monday, August 31, session 3, Wednesday, September 2nd. Um, so I will gradually post them, I will not post them all of them at once, and in fact, pay attention, I'm going to put the new ones on top of the old ones. So not what you see here, but the other way around. Just so that the newest one is always on top. And I will always post this like the night before that session starts. Okay? So why do we still follow these days? Although, like, so here's so typical, that we typically, ex let's look at session four. That's actually a very typical session. And, uh, but again, don't pay attention to the actual topics and saying this is a beta site, so it might be different from what you actually get. You see, there are four subdivisions, assignments, lectures, solutions, and reviews. Not, not always we will have everything, but this, this particular session kind of contains everything. You see, under assignments, there is a quiz, 
and there will be a lot of quizzes. I will say much more about that now, uh, later, but the quizzes are then, and you see there, the link will available sometime on or before 1 p.m., even probably earlier. I might normally, I put the links already ready uh, the night before. Now, what about this quiz? I, I, and, and I will say more about the quizzes, but just as far as time is concerned, you see, you have time until 11.59 p.m. tonight. In other words, you have the full day to do this quiz. That's great, right? That's something you that could, you could only have dreamt that is to be true. Okay. And then you have to drop it in the Dropbox folder. I will explain all that. But I just want to talk about the things that we want to do and therefore the timelines. There's also always a homework assignment under assignments, and that's on homeworks. And as always, you do the homeworks after you watch, of course, the videos on the lectures. Okay, And then, so the next topic, lectures, and there you see lecture video. Sometimes there are more than one, but this time there's one video. And all these videos, as I will later show you, I'll show you this particular one. Okay, let me go to that. As you see, we're going to YouTube. So all these videos are uh, listed in YouTube. Now, this says this video is private, and the reason is that I'm in not list. Um, this li video is not available yet. But so once I make this available, you will be able to watch this video. Okay, and this is will be on the discrete math channel. But um, I'm not. You will see it. That's it's very obvious. Okay, go back. So, um, where were you? You went four, right? Okay, here. Then, then there also a topic, is, um, is, um, a rubric called solutions. And what are these? Well, there are always one after we have a quiz. The next day, I will give a solution video for this quiz, and that is very important that you also look at that. So once you have done the quiz. You should go look at the solution video, especially when you've got problems with the quiz, or if you didn't get a good grade on the quiz, or, or you, even if you've made a small mistake, you want to know what the mistake is and how to properly do it. Okay? And these quizzes, these solution videos are also, of course, very good to prepare you for the final exam. Again, I will talk about that. But you see on the solutions, there are also solutions from the homeworks. As I said, each time you get the homework assignments, and the next day I will give the solution for the homework problem. Now, not all homework problems, and I come back to what exactly we'll do, okay? And then you see there is also a topic called reviews, and most of the time this is a review for the next quiz. You see here, review for quiz 3, to be held on Monday, September 14, and if you go to Monday, September 14, you see there, quiz 3, they're already listed, okay? So this is a review video that kind of tells, explains uh, how to s solve the particular quiz that I have in mind. And the review video is always um, uh, an example of how the next quiz will be. Okay, so that's definitely something you always want to look at. Okay, so that's how the layout is. And so the reason that we have this time const times, you see Wednesdays, Mondays, dates always, is because we have these quizzes that are, have to be due at the end of the, de of the, the day. And also the reviews and for the next quiz, okay? But other than that, you can uh, manage your own time a little bit, okay? So in other words, you can watch these lecture videos at your leisure, but of course you want to watch a video before you do the quiz on that topic, right, okay? And you want to also look at the solutions for the homeworks before you do a quiz on that topic. So normally, that therefore, a quiz like this um, quiz Two here that we saw is about knights and knaves, and that is a topic that we will actually co cover uh, in session two. So normally there's always, in this particular, again, this might not be the exact course that you're taking. This is, I'm teaching several discrete math courses, so, it, but it's, it's all something like that. So typically a quiz is always two days after the topic was treated. Okay, so we treat the topic. Then the next time we have homeworks and homework solution videos on that and preparation for a quiz, if there is a quiz on that topic. Okay, I hope, well, you see how this works. Now, let's go to the course procedure itself, because that's, of course, um, an important um, thing here. So there's an introduction movie, that's exactly what you're watching now. So, uh, instructions. So, right, I told you this is an asynchronous course, but I've read... What I'm going to say in this video is uh, less than what is posted here. So please do not just listen to this video, read the whole thing. 
okay? So, but a very important thing, and that is one of the things we're going to start with, is what I call the honor code. And so I expect, therefore, everybody to sign a pledge, handwritten, so, and I'll say more about how you do this. So you, you pledge the following, and you see the bold face there, I, and then you put your name, pledge to uphold all rules of our honor code. And then you sign and date this. Okay, it's important that you handwrite it. Don't type this. Okay, just this phrase. And then you take a picture of this phrase, and what you do with this picture, as you will do with everything that you hand off to me, you put that in the Dropbox folder that by now you should have gotten. Now, some of you might not have gotten the Dropbox folder to work. Uh, don't worry, we still have a little bit of time, and uh, will tell me if you have problems with the Dropbox folder, I'll send you a new request, uh, and eventually we will all, it all will work. Don't worry about that. It will work itself out. Okay, but so what you need to do, therefore, is um, to sign this pledge uh, and take a picture and put it in your Dropbox book and do this as soon as possible. This is the way that we test whether the Dropbox folder will work, right? And that's important because by the time that we do our quizzes, the Dropbox folder should work. Now, by the time we do a quiz, you also have, I need to have this signed pledge of yours because bef otherwise I will not grade the quizzes because then it sounds to me that you actually not want to uphold all the rules of our honor code. Now, what are the rules of our honor code? That's okay. So let's click, let's click on the, the, the link that says rules of conduct. Okay. So honor code of conduct. And I'm going to read it with you. By signing the pledge listed on the web page, that's the, the, the one single sentence, don't, you don't have to make a copy of this thing, only that sentence, you agree to uphold all of the following rules. Okay? So, as I said, you only, look, I'm not going to read the footnotes. Read the footnotes, gives a little bit more information. First of all, I pledge to watch the entire lecture video of each class before I sign off, acknowledging so. Um, might not be clear what I'm exactly referring to, but we'll, when we get to lecture videos, I will say a little bit more about what this signing off means. But it means that you, 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 you only say that you watch the video if you actually watch the video. I pledge that when assessing my homework, again, something that I have not talked about what it exactly is, but it is something you're going to have to do, I will be evaluating myself honestly. Okay. When we get back to this homework assessment, I will tell you, tell me, tell you what it exactly um, is about. But again, you are pledging that you're doing this honestly. I pledge that any quiz or test, including the final, will be solved entirely by myself, making use only of the textbook, lecture and homework videos, personal notes and a graphing or calculator, and, very important, without resorting to help from anybody else. Okay? So... That's a very important thing, of course, because I can, there's no proctoring anymore. There's no oversight when you take a quiz. And I need to be sure that you are going to be honest. I mean, academic integrity is a, one of the cornerstones of a education. Because if we all live by this, this honor code of conduct, this academic integrity, then we know that the degree that a person has received is, is deservedly received by that person. That person was able to do uh, exactly what it, it stated on the degree by his own. He didn't cheat. Okay? We know how bad cheaters can ruin the United States. We have people doing this at the moment, so we don't want to be that type of people. Okay? As I say, think of this, right? If you go to a doctor, you don't want the doctor to have cheated on his exams, right? Or, or if you want somebody in, to build an engineer or an architect to design a house for you, you definitely don't want him to have cheated on the exam so that he doesn't know how to calculate a simple equation or something like that. So, that's why this is so important, and when you sign this, you have to be a man of your word, slash woman of your word, right? And so when you sign that you will uphold these rules, means that you will do this, okay? Then, because, four, I understand that violating these rules might result in a failing grade. And five, of course, you are the one I am who I say I am when I sign this pledge. Okay, you cannot pretend to do be somebody else or do this for somebody else. Okay. 
All right, so that's our uh, code of honor. That is, when you sign this phrase, I pledge to uphold all rules, and, and here's an example of my pledge. I, Hans Scoutens, pledge to uphold all rules of our honor code, and this was something I did, you said, early on when we all started going into lockdown. Okay, so this is what I want you to do for me, to make for me, and put it in your Dropbox, uh, that I can collect it. Now, I want to say this about Dropbox, I will say it a couple of times. This Dropbox folder that I made for you, and only the one that I made for you, don't try to make other Dropbox folders, the one that I have shared with you. Now, you're going to deposit stuff in there, like this honor code on quizzes. Now, once I have seen the material, or once I have graded the quiz, I will move them into a backup folder that you don't see. But so that, the, the, that we don't have any clutter in that folder. So don't be surprised that all of a sudden something is gone out of that folder. Okay, that is just me. Uh, I, 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 nothing is destroyed. And by the way, in Dropbox, you can always restore something from a previous. Um, after the, you delete something, you can still restore a, a file on that case. But as I said, don't worry about that. In fact, it is an indication that I have seen your thing. Okay, so that's the honor code. Now, uh, I will say a bit perhaps more when we say this. Um, but it is something that has to be done as soon as possible. So very important, you see the red uh, highlight there. Do this right after you read all the introductory material. Don't sign this before you have read, be, read all the fine print, as we always say, right? When you sign something, make sure that you know everything that we, you are agreeing to. Okay, so let me now quickly go over the various parts of this course. There are lectures, as we already talked about. Um, so they will be posted on a discrete mat, channel, the discrete mat 1, discrete mat 2, depending on which course you're taking. Um, I would, I want you to subscribe to that channel, so once, the first time you watch the video, and this is, this video is the first time, right, that you watch the video on that channel, subscribe for that channel, please, okay? Um, so, very important, again, you see the red there, to let me know that you have seen the video, you have to add a comment containing your name. This is my way of kind of keeping track that you watch all the videos and that you do this on time. As I said, you have a little bit of leeway, so I kind of leave everybody the freedom to, to do this, um, to, to um, organize its, his time per week and not necessarily per day. But watching a video two weeks after it was supposed to be watched is no longer considered to be on time. I hope you understand that. But if you watch this video that I posted on Wednesday and you watch it Friday, that's fine. Since there was nothing else in between that you had to do, that is, or in the weekend, that's fine. But in order for me to know that you watch this, you have to leave a comment with your name. Put your name because your handle is sometimes obscure. Some people have their own handles. So just put a name there, okay? You're going to forget this once in a while. Don't worry about that. It's more, I want you to do this in general. Okay, and then I, I check whether this is um, done regularly. And this is again, one of, remember, in part of this honor code was that you will only do this actually if you actually have watched the entire video. Okay, don't look at the first minute and say, okay, okay, I did it. Well, no, that's not honor, honorable, right? You have to watch the whole movie. Well, what else, how else are you going to learn it? Okay, then about homeworks. Let me read. You're expected to do all homework by the beginning of next class. So as I going back here to this example in session four, you see homework assignment from 1.4 to number two, seven to 30 and odd, 33 and 36 from 1.5. It happens to be two, two uh, sessions, two sections here. Do this, blah, 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 and so on. And then you see here the next thing, the two, spe two special problems for number for 1.4 are, and I give two special numbers. What do I mean with special problems? So. That, keep that in mind, right? So I'm going to read now, read with me homeworks. You're expected to do all homework by the beginning of next class. I will neither collect nor grade homework, but you're going to get points for it. So how does it work? Well, I will assign two special problems, remember the two problems that I just mentioned, which I will solve the next session. That's what go, is going to go into the homework solution videos the next time. As I told you, I'm not going to do all the homework, mostly because most of the homeworks have already a solutions in the back of your book. Okay, so it's not really necessary, but the solution alone, of course, is not always helpful. So that's why I pick problems that are kind of representative and perhaps a little bit harder than, than the, the really easy ones. 
that I then work out in full detail so that you know how to do this. And the, the whole point of homeworks is to learn. This is the part where you practice. In other words, I don't care whether you make mistakes during this homework. In fact, it's by making mistakes that you realize, oh, I have to do it this way. Oh, this is not really how it goes. It is the homeworks where you really get to try it yourself because the videos, I am doing it. Although, when I do the videos, and I will repeat it several times during the video too, whenever I'm, I'm, I'm doing a problem and I already you kind of already know what to do, well, if you think you know what to do, halt, pause the video. That's the very big, huge, good thing you can do, right? You can pause the video. When your instructor is in front of class, you cannot say, oh, wait, wait, sir, I want to I wanna think about this. No. But this is the big advantage you have. Now you can pause the video, you can think about it yourself, work it out, and then continue the video and see whether, whether you were right or not. That's already the first way first uh, way for you to test that you are actually understanding it. And then the whole works. That's the real main way for you to understand whether you're doing it or not. So, uh, so okay, line two. You earn points for making your homework. How? Is by every time after you did your homework and watch the homework solution video the next time. Remember, I told you the special problems will have a homework solution video. And then you self-assess your progress by giving yourself one to four stars on the BB Blackboard website. Okay, what on earth am I talking about? So let me show you where I am. Um, where is my... Okay. Oh, Jesus, I closed that. How did I close this? Oh, no, 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 it's not going to here it is. Um, okay, so this is the Blackboard website that you would normally get to see. And... Um, what is this here? Okay, so uh, there are no announcements yet, but um, at this particular... Again, this is uh, still uh, in progress, right? The course information, I will go over this very briefly uh, later on with you because it's the grading policy, but it's also on the website itself. Um, but I want to go to this homework self-assessment. This is what I was just now talking about. And you see here, um, if we go back to um, session, let's, let's go back to session 3, for instance, here. In session 3, you saw, you, you see the under assignments homework, you follow that, session 3, okay. From 1.3 to number 3, 4, 6 to 10, 61, the two special problems are 10D and 61B. And then the next day in session 4, next session in session four you see if on the solution solution for homework from 1.3 that was the one that we just read okay so once you have done this watch the solution video then you go to this um to this um, self-assessment of 1.3 so here's homework 1.3 self-assessment and so what is that you do there it's it's an assign it's a test somehow so you click on it it says you, this test can be saved and resumed later so you can do this don't, don't worry, if you make a mistake, you can do it over again. So this uh, test allows multiple attempts, you see that. Okay, you begin the test, and now, what, uh, oh, okay. I did this already one time, so start new submission. No, that's, so you, some, if you have done this already, it asks you, do you, are you sure you want to do it again? But yes, that's yes, yes. So. Look at the instructions. Give yourself stars to see how you're doing with the homeworks. One star for each of the following. I try to solve as many assigned homeworks as possible. In particular, this case in 1.3. I watched the homework solution video from 1.3. I did the first special question correctly that I assigned in 1.3. Forget the number now. I did the second special question correctly. Okay, so let's take. Let's say, okay, I did the homeworks from 1.3, but I had problems with the last two. What should I do? Well, it says as many. R remember, this is homeworks is where you're trying to work, see what you understand and not understand. So if you cannot solve all of them, that's fine. As long as you try it. Okay, I tried to solve as many as assigned homework as possible. So that's that deserves a start for me. I watched the homework solution video. Of course, I did that. I'm, I'm not. Um, I know that that's where I can learn, right? I did the first special question correctly. I did actually. I did it correctly. Um, so yes, I give myself a star for that. Um, oh, oh, say okay. I did the first special question correctly. Yeah, I did. I did everything correctly, but then at the end, I did. This Silly, stupid mistake. I, I, I kind of... Silly mistake. I wrote it wrong. What should I do? Well, if you really think you did it correctly, you 
okay, fine, it's, it's not really a great, it is assessing yourself, understand the word, assess means how am I doing, is, am I doing okay, okay? I did a special, second special question correctly, no, I didn't get that at all. So what should I give myself? I'm going to give myself three stars. One star because I soft as much as possible. One star because I watched the homework for this. One star because I kind of did the first question correctly. And that's it. Now what do you do? Okay, so here my self-assessment score for homework 1.3 is three stars. Now, three stars are three stars. So in other words, make sure that you put in stars. Star. Sorry, star. That's a little bit annoying with the uh, three stars. Okay. Notice it says also question one has 0 0.5 points. Okay. If you once you self-assess yourself, you put save and submit. It asks you, is this okay that you submit? You say okay. And this is a log that you actually have submitted. But that's not really what you have to do. Make sure you click through here on okay. And let's see now. Ah, question one, my self-assessment score was three, and response feedback. Ah, continue to make the most of your homeworks. Happy face. Why do you see this? because you got at least one star. Even if you have one star, it would give you that. So let me, let me do it over again, or let's do another one, where what, showing you what can go wrong. Okay, so here again you say, okay, I'm gonna give myself two stars, so you write two, right? Two stars, save and submit, save and submit, okay, yeah, 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 I want to submit, I'm eager to see my grade, how much did I get? Oops. Uh, it's red. Why? Because you answered in the wrong way. You have to answer with the stars and not with the number. And so it's important to check this because it, sometimes it's a silly thing you do and then you no, notice you have now 0 out of 0 0.5 points. And this, this is automatically graded. I don't look at this. In fact, I do not look at what you put there, whether you give yourself 1, 2, 3 or 4 stars. That is not what determines your grade. That is what you tell yourself, good job, mm -hmm -hmm job, or awful job. So next time, do better. You are talking to yourself. It's a self-assessment, okay? Nobody else can see this, and I will not pay attention to it. You get a grade if you do the assessment, regardless of what grade you give yourself. But therefore, you have to do the assessment correctly. In other words, make sure that you get a green light here, so to speak, and then you will see you get 0 0.5 points. And it will go automatically in your um, grade calculation. You can even double check it there, that it's uh, reflected. Now, again, you do this only after you actually carried out this homework, ass homework assignment. You try the problems. So, again, that's part of this honor code, honestly. You only say that you do, you only give yourself an assessment and you do it fairly, but again, it's not really important what you give. If you're just giving yourself always four stars, you are only fooling yourself with that, if, if that's not deserved, okay? Okay, I hope this is clear, that what is to do. Okay, so that's the self-assessment. Let's go back, that's, that's homeworks. And then uh, quizzes, I've talked about the quizzes already. There will be all, many quizzes, they will post it. There will be always an, an an announcement and basically because there is a review and um, the quizzes will count for 60% for the grade. I will go say more about how the calculation of all the grades are, okay? Uh, read please everything that has been to be said there, but I want to re re read with you the rules for quizzes and, and, the, and the final. And that's again part of this honor code, remember, in the, one of the, the first state, first of these um, clauses where you pledge that you will uphold this thing is exactly these rules here. Namely, you are allowed to use notes and videos and the textbook to solve the problem and use your graphing cal of calculator. In other words, we are using open book testing. It's perhaps not something that you were used to, might be that in your previous, even online course you were not allowed to do that, but here you are. So you can really use everything, all the material that I have posted and all notes that you took, you can take, um, you can look at uh, in order to solve your quiz. But understand very well here, you will not get much credit for the answer even if it's correct. It's not the answer that matters now anymore. Most of the credit will come from your work and any missing step will be penalized. 
this is how I see there's one way for me to test see this is basically the only way I have to verify that you are the author of the work if I see all the steps I see oh, okay it's not just he copied it from somebody or he, he went to online he used an online tool which is not allowed okay let's, let's read what the next thing says you are not allowed to use any online tools such as Wolfram Alpha or online help to solve the problem you are not allowed to ask anybody else's help you must your work must be entirely yours this is kind of obvious right but it's just things the things that you are allowed and the things you're not allowed this is during a quiz now of course for homeworks you can do whatever you want you can consult as many people and as many tools and as many videos as you want it there it's the process when you're learning that's okay it's only during the quizzes you are restricted to use only the material that's available which is quite a lot right you can go use a textbook imagine that you can look at the, the video the review video so you just that's definitely something you want to watch here uh, before you do a quiz okay uh, so uh, I want to read the last sentence before these rules and quizzes in, in quizzes sorry I cannot highlight this this was, no it doesn't work here be aware there are many indirect ways to verify academic integrity, and I have found regrettably in the past that some students think they can cover up their dishonesty. It's not just because I cannot see you that I cannot figure out that you did something that is not your work. I'm not going to reveal all the details of why I do this. Another way, actually, that things that I... And it, unfortunately, it happens, and it has happened in my previous uh, online courses, I noticed that do people use the same have the same solution and if these solutions are so similar that I and especially when they you make the same silly mistake at the same spot then I'm getting more and more suspicious and it's a severe violation I told you this because not only when you enroll in city tech or in CUNY you are abiding by this this academic integrity code, but you even signed a pledge that you will uphold this. So you even broke your word. It's even somehow worse that you do this. So this is something you shouldn't do, and I will penalize for you. Okay, and if I might give you a first warning where you you're gonna lose your points on your quiz if you did that. Don't don't think that you're gonna get away with anything. I might tell you okay. One time I can accept this, but if you do this one more time, you're out. And out meaning out of the course, right? So let's look at the grading policy. So how is the how is the grades are divided? And that's the, you see the little chart there. The homeworks and videos that the self-assessment there, that is 10% of the grade. Okay, and remember this is a self-grading system. So you when if you do this, make sure that you you, you, you don't have to do it right away. You can, you can do this in the weekend or a little bit later. Don't forget to do it. That's what I'm saying. Never do it before, but afterwards you can wait a little bit, but don't wait too long. Um, and if you do this, every time you get half a point, and together this will make 10% of your uh, total grade. The quizzes will count for 60% of the grade, and I will drop the lowest quiz score. So you have one time the luxury to do bad, or even miss the quiz. It happens that people say, okay, I don't have the time now to do this quiz you have. Uh, please, but if there is something seriously uh, uh, obstructing you from doing the quiz, even although you have a whole day, let me know. We can work out things, okay? We can perhaps but talk to me, send me an email, and I can see what we can do. Uh, then there's, the, I'm skipping one topic, and let's look at the final. That's 20% of the grade, and that is um, something you have to take to pass the course. Now, there is this one thing left, 10% left, and that's on the writing. This course is called a writing, writing intensive course. That means it has to contain at least one written essay assignment. And so you will get an essay assignment. Now, it's too soon to say too much about it, and once uh, so, uh, we'll announce it when we, when, and it will be due somewhere by a week or two before the finals so you will have plenty of time don't worry about that okay but it will be 10 percent of the grade so the textbook we're using uh, the textbook is discrete math and application seventh edition 
Now there is actually an 8th edition and in fact the math department officially uses the 8th edition but I kept the 7th edition because it makes it easier we, uh, for, for whomever so I'm, I'm using the 7th edition so in other words the, all the, um, uh, the homework assignments like here if I say and, and again um, session 3 homework from 1.3 to number 3, 4, 6, 10 6 to 10 and 61, that refers to the 7th edition, not the 8th edition. If you happen to have the 8th edition, I'm sorry about that, but you're going to have to figure out exactly which, which corresponds to what. Um, you could perhaps sometimes figure this out because the math department has um, the two, uses this both syllabus, so you can use it there, but uh, I, I'm not going to tell you much about that. The preparation, I hope that by now you have a Dropbox account because you have to deposit your pledge and then when is your first quiz? Well, okay, we, uh, that depends on, on the, which course you're taking, but it, it's going to be soon the, because there are going to be a lot of quizzes, I should tell you. There are going to be more, there is been a, almost every week going to be a quiz, okay? Why? Because there, notice that there are no midterms anymore, so everything is now quizzes. Most of it is quizzes, and then there's the final, and then there are the two, the homeworks, the self-assessment, and the, um, yeah, you see, you say, if you look at homeworks and videos, it says, regular watching videos and self-assessing homework, 10% of the grade. Honestly, it's 9% of the grade is for the homework self-assessment, and 1% is for you watching this, this, oh, well, 1 or 2%, I depends a little bit on my calculation, for you actually watching the videos. Remember, that's where you put the name. Okay, um, uh, office hours, of course, also will be virtual. Um, you have to send me, uh, and they will be by email. And uh, my official office hours are Monday, Wednesday from 6 to 7 p.m. That means that at those period, that those times, I will try to respond right away if I can. But at any time, you can ask me a question. So my, I have kind of fluid fluid office hours and whenever you send me an email I, I'll try to respond as quickly as, as possible. Don't expect too much in the mornings, I'm kind of an evening person um, and weekends perhaps also there might be some delay but I will always try to answer it if you um, need a little bit more uh, sometimes you, you can even ask me questions in the comments on the video because as I said I always check there um, but it, um, since math, math is very hard to leave in a comment, you cannot leave a picture in a comment, in YouTube comments, they don't allow that. So it's better to email me. And when you email, you should put the course number in the, um, in the subject, so that it won't get lost. Now it says here 2440, that's for discrete math 1, if you're in discrete math 2, it would be 2540, okay? But that's just to, so that your emails don't get lost in the whole thing. Now, there is also going to be tutoring available from the math department and from, in, from, from the college, but I don't have the exact details anymore. Okay, and so uh, that's, I think, almost everything I want to say, except I want to go quickly back to this um, um, Blackboard here. Um, there is not, that's the only place where you will use Blackboard for is homework self-assessments and to see your grades. But... The course information, the only thing that's there is the grading policy, okay? Uh, and and this, there's some additional material that is here. Oh, okay, this is just uh, are the rules of conduct for the honor pledge. A couple of things that I just put there in case you want to have these documents actually somewhere that you can print them out. But our main web page is not Blackboard, it's this page, well, or the corresponding version for your course, okay? Everything will always be posted on this web page. This is where you always should start. Don't start from the YouTube channel because that's only the videos. There's much more to this course than just the videos, okay? But going back now here to this course grading policy, um, it explains a little bit more in detail how the quizzes have 60%, the essay has 10%, the homework is 10%, and final is 20%. One more time, it's all put there. As I said, this video that I just that you're now listening to is a synopsis, although it's quite long that I've been talking, but read everything now in detail, then sign your pledge and deposit it in the Dropbox folder. Then we know that the Dropbox folder works, then you're ready to take the quizzes and you are going to be a man and a woman of your word and it's going to be a pleasant um, experience. Believe me, online courses 
very often actually I'm surprised by students saying that they actually like this and this is because it has a little bit more flexibility it gives you the time to work on your own at your own uh, pace okay guys so um, I you will hear me from now on in my lecture videos so please uh, start now with the lectures